Good afternoon and welcome to more Meets AI. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today we're going to be doing a best of, a best of Colossus. Now, um, a, a YouTuber that I watch, or listen to, I should say, named Perspective N is the one who does the best of things uh, for Transformers, like best of Megatron and best of Optimus Primal and stuff like that. And uh, I, I do suggest you go check out his channel. But uh, I, I decided to take that and um, make a best of Colossus because... Turns out, uh, between me and my roommate, we have three colossi. And, well, and I know, some people say it's supposed to be colossuses. But I think colossuses is just a way to waggle your bottom jaw. I don't like it. Uh, colossuses. Colossuses. No, just colossi. It sounds cooler. That's the way it should be, right? <laughs> if it sounds cooler, isn't this the way to go? Look, I don't have a degree in English, so uh, don't don't take anything I say for, for concrete information on the English language. It's just something I like. I like to say colossi, but I understand that it's not the right way to say it. Just, it's my way of saying it. Nuts. Why did you fall? No, no. I guess, oh, and you fell over here too. Okay, we're just going to sit you down over there. Cool. Um, anyway. So today we're going to be doing a best of Colossus and we're going to talk about these three Colossi. We have the Marvel Legends Colossus that came with the uh, Juggernaut, the two pack. Then we have the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Colossus, the Astonishing X-Men, nuts, the Astonishing X-Men Colossus. And we have the Colossus from Age of Apocalypse, which is uh, the Build-A-Figure Colossus, which is truly massive. Uh, and today I'm going to talk to you about which one I, I believe is the best one. And, um, you know, well, you probably already guessed, but uh, just sit back and close your eyes and listen. We'll talk about them. So first off, you know, we'll, we'll bring up the Toy Biz one. Now, the Toy Biz one's got a lot of cool stuff about it. He's got some excellent, excellent sculpt work going on here. You can feel everything. And the way they did this paint, it feels slightly oil -like, oily, like it's an organic metal. Like it just, it kind of feels like an organic metal. And I appreciate the fact that for this guy, they, uh, his outfit has actually been melted onto his body. They're, his body is sculpted separately from the outfit, and then they put the outfit on top and melted it down. That's really cool. And he's got a lot of good articulation. Sadly, he does not have double-jointed elbows, which, which is kind of a shame, I, I do have to say. But, you know, it doesn't really... it's alright. That's, that's the biggest negative to him, other than the fact that his head isn't on a ball joint. His head can move left and right, but it can't move up and down. And again, the way they have him made here from Astonishing X-Men, you know, he is filled with rage. The, uh, the muscles on his back go all the way up. Look at this. He's just got the craziest back muscles. Like, this is the most muscular one of the bunch. Now, this guy's got muscles on top of muscles, all just piling up his back until they reach just below his, uh, his hairline, right there at the neck area. And his neck is thick. This guy is a beast. The Toy Biz one has got some excellent muscle sculpt. And this makes, you know, he feels intimidating. He feels like a Colossus. And I, I just, I like that. Uh, the weight-wise, it's also decently hefty. And um, he doesn't have an etched X on his belt, which I always annoyed by. I'm like, you, you etch the X in. Come on, guys. But that is... Yo, he's got some cool knee pads down here that are also made out of that rubberized plastic. He does have double jointed knees. Uh, excuse the way he's all set up because over the years, the Toy Biz Colossus knees have become very weak. So I have to like put him in a weird stance in order for him to even stand. His ab crunch is nearly gone. It just waggles. It waggles a lot. Uh, everything about this guy waggles because the joints are loose. He's, he's, he's old. I got him in 2004, so, you know, he's almost 20 years old. It's amazing, but he is an excellent toy for being that age. And just, he's a little floppy, that's all. But articulation-wise, excellent. Everything you would expect from Toy Biz except for uh, double-jointed elbows and a ball-jointed head. So that's the Toy Biz Colossus, a hefty figure that has a lot of articulation and a really nice outfit. And, of course, you know, he's still... How did you just take out Kitty? All right, 
Now, this is the weird thing, okay? I've been trying to film this video for a couple of days now, and I keep screwing up. And for some reason, every time Juggernaut Colossus falls, well, nearly every time, you saw him fall earlier and he fell backwards, but nearly every time he falls, he manages to take out Kitty Pride from Age of Apocalypse. Uh, I just, I just think that's kind of funny. Like, he's constantly taking her out, and it's wild. So, now let's talk about the Juggernaut Colossus here. Now, Juggernaut Colossus is, um, we're gonna move Age of Apocalypse Colossus over here so I can get a little elbow room going on here. Because Juggernaut Colossus is a bit bigger. Um, he uses the X of Swords style X-Men outfit, I assume. Even the, the X in his uh, belt is engraved, so I can feel the X there. His face sculpt is pretty decent. Uh, honestly, I don't like the face sculpt of him compared to the Toy Biz one. The Toy Biz face sculpt is far superior, in my opinion. And um, articulation-wise, this guy's got about the same as the um, as the Toy Biz one. He's got double-jointed elbows. He doesn't have opening and shutting hands like the Toy Biz one, but he can look up and he can look down. Though, he doesn't have the muscles that Toy Biz guy has. And that, you know, his muscles don't go all the way up to the back of his head and make him seem like an, you know, a rage-filled colossus. And, um, uh, it's all right. Though, he's also a bit lighter. It feels like his, uh, his legs here are hollow. See, his arms aren't hollow, but his legs feel hollow. They, they, they don't feel like they, feels like there's a hollow center to them. And that, that is kind of a shame. It makes him a bit top-heavy. And he honestly needs to be a little more bottom heavy because he's got all this muscle on the top and it does make it easy for this guy to just fall over if you tap him. And that, that's a shame. And he's got the ab crunch and it's a lot better. It's actually ratcheted. It's, so it's a lot better than the Toy Biz one. And nothing on the Toy Biz one is actually ratcheted. But that is the Juggernaut Colossus. You know, excellent outfit here. Not as good as the Toy Biz outfit though, in my opinion. I do like the belt. The belt is better. The belt is better than the Toy Biz belt. And um, I don't like his feet. You know, the, him and the Toy Biz have the similar th case with the boots. You know, they're, they're, their boots just are big old Mickey Mouse feet kind of things. So we're going to set Juggernaut Colossus over here off to the side. And now we're finally going to take a look at Age of Apocalypse Colossus. Now, Age of Apocalypse Colossus right here is, he is the beast of the Colossi. All right? His sculpt work is top notch. You know, it, Unlike the Juggernaut Colossus, whose um, who's organic metal skin doesn't really have that great of a texture, uh, it, it's barely there. It's more painted on than textured on, and that's a shame. This guy, on the other hand, has got some excellent bio-organic metal structure, textured all over him. He's not wearing a shirt. He's just wearing some suspenders and a big pauldron. That reminds me of a pauldron that you would get from a World of Warcraft that... Um, that crimson place, that uh, the the instance that would open up outside of the undead main city. You got a pauldron that, that looked kind of similar to this one. Or at least looked how this one feels. This one feels very similar. as a cool pauldron. It's huge, too. A pauldron is that thing that sits on the shoulder, uh, in case you didn't know. Now, outfit-wise, this guy's outfit, you know, it rocks. He's he's got He's got the greatest of outfits. I've got his arm here like showing off his muscles he's also got some good muscle structure but not like the age you know not like the toy biz muscle structure you know which is a shame this dude doesn't have an you know he doesn't have a shirt on and it'd be cool if he had had similar muscles to toy biz if they had given him the muscles piled upon muscles but this guy's muscles are you know top notch anyway you know it's definitely not to toy biz but it is almost there in the scale of muscle. Though they did a better job with the thigh muscles and muscles coming down his legs and stuff. That's much better textures than the Toy Biz got. So he wins on the muscles for lower body. And of course, you know, he got these really good body muscles going on here in the core since his outfit is removed. And that's really good. You know, he matching up sculpt work wise with the Toy Biz one. His boots are excellent. I love all the straps that he has because he's got these big old armored boots and gloves on and they each have these pull straps to tighten them down and the pull straps are all textured and stuff just hanging out everywhere this guy just got so much going on and he's even got a bandana like this this, this dude is straight up 80s nonsense and i love it i think it's a great build a figure and honestly you know it, it it is the reason why you would have bought that wave i mean and of course you've got the kitty pride that came with him
and she can just kind of chill out here on his arm. Yeah. Dip, dip, dip. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That's excellent. I love it. So, what's the best? Um, it depends on what you want. Uh, honestly speaking, though, I would consider the Juggernaut Colossus 2-Pack Colossus to be the worst in these three. The Toy Biz one is second fiddle to the Age of Apocalypse one, but if you don't want the Age of Apocalypse look, then the Toy Biz guy's your man. He's got everything. He's got some great sculpt work. He's got the opening and closing hands. I do love the fact that you can move his thumbs so that he can give thumbs ups on the Toy Biz one. And uh, I do miss articulated hands, but the Age of Apocalypse one will win out. This Colossus wins the, just, he's, he's bigger, he's beefier. I, he, he doesn't have as much muscle tone as the Toy Biz one, but he's larger than the Toy Biz one. And honestly, he's the size I would expect Colossus to be. Uh, Toy Biz Colossus is just kind of small in comparison. And um, I really would like a Colossus of this height. This, this is a good Colossus. And I hope they redo this uh, Build-A-Figure mold and make him into a normal Colossus. I think that would be an excellent figure. But overall ratings... Age of Apocalypse wins out on every single scale. Toy Biz comes up a close, close second, and then Juggernaut 1 is a far, far third. Thank you for watching today's video, and I don't know if I'm going to be uploading much this week. I'm feeling a little sick, a little down, and uh, I'm going to be you know, taking a little break. But I'll be back with you next week, um, and randomly with some shorts throughout the week, uh, as I manage to, you know, to feel better enough to do it. Uh, I'm feeling good right now, so I figured I'd get this video done and get it out to you, my viewers, and my listeners. So, thank you very much, and I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. Please, well, like and subscribe and share and comment below. Help me fight that algorithm. Help me reach more blind people. I'd really appreciate that. Have a great one. Bye-bye.